Bad lighting can make your video stand out in the wrong way. So today I'm going to show you how you could take your setup from looking like this to this using just four lights. So let's start by turning off all the lights. The first light I want to talk about is my key light. The key light that I'm using is the Colvor CL60R 65W RGB cob light. And I really like this light because it's super small and compact and it comes with a cute little carrying case and it's really easy for me to take to work and go shoot with it. So this light is super useful because of its size and it fits perfectly here in my small space. I like that this light can be controlled using your phone or the remote control that you could buy separately, I believe. And the cool thing about this remote is that I can adjust the brightness of the light without having to get up, the temperature of the light, which is nice, and also the hue, the hue, there we go. RGB is always very fun to play with and a very useful tool nowadays, especially in commercial videography, which is like what I do. Having this remote control is super handy because I don't have to get up anymore <laughs> to make adjustments to my light which is always a super annoying part of filming by yourself. I think it's really neat that the little butt of the remote is sticky. So I could just put it here on my desk and turn it and not have any worries about it sliding off. And on the front of this light, I have the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2, which as you could guess by the name, is the smaller version of their Light Dome softbox. I really love the softbox because of the quick setup and teardown. They have this like lever thing going on, locking spring. I don't even know how to describe it. Look it up and you'll see what I mean, but it's really handy and perfect for taking around. And together, this becomes my ultimate lightweight, compact key light setup. And I really need it to be lightweight and I don't know, easy to put high up like this because I found that having my key light higher up helps me avoid glare in my glasses and also avoid the shadow that I used to get on my face in my older videos. So this is what I look like with just the key light turned on. With just the key light turned on, the scene's not very interesting. So in order to add more interest into the shot, I'm gonna turn on a hair light, which will help separate me more from the background. Cause as of right now, it's just, it's very dramatic. How about that? It's just me and Bipple hanging out, talking to you guys, but if I turn on this light here, this is my practical lamp. This is actually not the light that I'm gonna be using as my hair light, but the light that I want you to think that I'm using for my hair light. The magic of video, am I right? So I purchased this lamp from Etsy actually, and inside of the lamp, I put a Philips Hue light bulb that allows me to control it wirelessly from here, and I can make it any color that I want. So, of course, I chose the most unique and crazy color that I could choose from the rainbow, orange. And I'm just kidding. I chose orange because I wanted the space to feel kind of warm and cozy. And so now here's the real hair light. There we go. Right off screen, I have a Nanlite Pavo tube, which is this cute little LED tube light. Is that what you call it? But yeah, it's a mini tube light which allows me to select any color RGB. And so I set it to orange and this actually projects enough light that it'll reach the side of my face and kind of give me a little separation from the background. So this is what it looks like right now with just my key light and my hair light. And I think honestly, it looks pretty good. Honestly, if you're looking for a simple two light setup, I would just go with this, a nice key light with a soft box and then a little hair light to separate you from the background. But if you wanna go the extra step, I have a fun little sunset lamp that I bought from Amazon because I saw it all over TikTok and I'm easily influenced. And as you can see, it's not quite the color of the sunset because you're able to change the colors, which is really nice. And so, I didn't want the image to be fully orange in the background. I wanted a little bit of color contrast because I like to make things look cinematic and really awesome and 
cinematic and just really gorgeous and cinematic because that's the only thing that matters in this world is making things look cinematic so you know I had to hit you with the teal and orange the bibble the orange I really like it because it adds a splash of color and it kind of rounds out my image in my opinion without it I feel that it's super dark on one side of the image and it's super bright on the other but now I feel that it's evenly lit behind me and honestly having like a fully colored background gives more of like a studio feel to this if that makes sense but yeah i just want to say a quick thank you to my friends over at cold Boar for sending this light to me this light has been used so much in the past few months and it's definitely a permanent part of my kit yeah if you'd like to check out any of the products that i mentioned in today's video please do check out the description below i'll have it linked if you guys have any questions please do let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you and yeah thanks for watching i hope this video inspires your next lighting setup I'll see you guys next time.